victory's mine On top, still on the grind Gotta go get it right now, holla at me if you with me It's time I think the stars above I know that we're gonna make it It'll take over God, we gon' make it Show the world that it's shining our greatness Keep it real, never gon' fake this Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd teach you guys how to do uh, a foot jam today. You know a lot of people when they start riding BMX for the very first time, they always start off with the intermediate tricks and like the beginner stuff. But this one, between beginners and intermediate, and as soon as you learn how to do stuff in your front wheel with foot jams, then everything else is just with lashes, you name it, it's endless on what you can do in your front wheel. I mean, if you watch what I do, you can just see why. First thing I'm going to show you is a lot of people, if your right foot forward, you stick your foot into the tire here. Now if you're goofy footed, goofy footed is when your back foot's here, but you still stick it in there. Yes, you can do this, but I'm telling you now, it's going to be twice as hard and you're going to kind of stuff yourself up on later tricks down the line. So first thing I learned is rolling up into your foot jam, I'll just get it there. Foot jam, and you want to pop, pop into your foot jam. Now, what this would teach you is when you come out of the corner into a foot jam, you're going to be already prepared to pop into it. Because a lot of you start off by just rolling up like this and then going in like that. It's okay, the issue is when you start doing out of quarters it's not going to feel anything like that at all. So give that a few goes just outside your driveway or whatever. The next thing is how I learnt it. This is how I was taught. is by rolling up. Remember what, what I just showed you then. This will help you to drop in. So when you hop into the foot jam, drop your shoulder into the quarter and you automatically hop in. I was like this. So, what that helps you if you see, I'll replay it again in slow-mo. So when I hop into it, and what that would do is when you hop into the foot jam and drop your shoulder, when you hop off, it's automatically gonna send you into the bowl. Now, after you learn that, and I learned foot jams in one day by doing this technique, so I know it works. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is to hop out of the quarter, get into the foot jam, and hop back in. Same deal though, if you've learned how to hop in, it's so easy to get into it. So I'm gonna do one just here, and I'll show you exactly which way to do it. So as you can see, when I've hopped into it, already I was leaning in as well. And try not to get too much speed, you don't wanna fly out. Cause I'm gonna show you, if you do a fly out one, and you're gonna end up going. That's what's going to happen if you go too fast. So each quarter is different. Bigger ones obviously need more speed. Smaller ones don't really need any more speed at all. Also, when you come out of the quarter, a lot of your first ones are going to be like this. Now it's okay, but a lot of issues I see is when you hop in it, you're going to spin. And then you're going to hop straight in. How I learned it was hop in, land like this, a bit more of a like straight on. And this is going to get your backside, it's already in. And you're going to hop in, it's going to be nice and clean. And that's going to help you with 360 foot jams, off a feeble 270 foot jams, you name it. It's definitely going to help you if you learn it that way. So, I'm going to do a few little clips around. I've done some at some other park. <laughs> Uh, teaches you how to do a foot jam uh, let me know in the comments if you want to message me directly on Instagram just for a few extra tips or whatever I can always help out but uh, let me know in the comments what you want to learn next you name it uh, I can do it here and uh, give you a little instructions of how to do it so uh, anyways cheers for watching and uh, catch you later. oh also if you haven't seen it yet new paint
job on the bike. So I'll do a bit of a, a cinematic video straight after this. hope you really enjoyed that thanks for watching the video like subscribe hit the thumbs button because it lets me know that you enjoy watching these videos and i'm in the right area of like going into again if you want to know anything else just let me know or message me personally on instagram so uh anyways cheers for watching see you later